Hello everybody, welcome back. This is a cup on putrid, Vladim <laughs> Vladimir Putrid. I shot it outside, trying to do something new with the channel. Uh, you guys seem to like that Coney Island by the water reading. Although, it was even windier here and the song was inaudible, so I'm dubbing over it. I wanted to do this with Cooper, <laughs> probably this summer, he has a life as too. So we'll shoot some Tassa readings outside. Let's get started on that Putin Tassa everybody. So the beginning of the cup on the handle, I see ships, large, large like naval cargo ships that can house trucks and tanks and even airplanes. And they're moving in from the ocean into the Ukraine. I think that's going to be their next line of attack. They're going to change tactics and they're going to involve the Navy. Let's pause here for a second while I, I discuss that. So it'll involve the, the Navy now. I know they're saying that the new strategy is that they're going to move on the, to the east side of the country, Donbass and that, that region. Yes, they are. They're going to have people in the land, soldiers doing horrible things. But also, I think the new strategic uh, war, war plan is that they're going to invade from the ocean. And it's going to be very scary. We're going to hear about it in the news. I wish I could tell, you know, the Ukrainians so that they could take preemptive measures. But, you know, these things, people don't believe these things. These, these, these ratings, you know, people think that no one's going to pay attention, take you seriously even though you know we we've seen it for a few years now in the tasa we didn't know exactly it was exactly ukraine but we knew it was a country there in europe so anywho that that's what they're going to do now putin is going to or putrid is going to try to take that part of the country i think it's strategically uh his goal to take the parts of the country where there's more gas and oil like why that's probably why he took crimea and the other part of the country, the eastern part, also has natural gas and oil reserves. So that's why he probably took that region first and all that. Or tried to. Declared them, and he declared them sovereign nations. Anyway. In this cup, there are some things that I see that I'm not going to discuss into detail here because they are beneficial to the Ukrainians, right? So you never know who's listening. Some people don't pay attention, but some may believe, right? And it ends up in the wrong ears. So I'm just gonna warn you that I'm not going to get into very specific details about certain things because there's a good reason for it. So sorry, I'm having a horrible time with this dubbing. This is hard, really hard. Okay, so I just wanted to say that about two years ago, two and a half years ago, I did a Tasa where Putin is fighting and I saw a lot of Muslim people involved. And so, you know, Chechnyans, they have a large population of Muslims and so do Syrians. Uh, and so I think Putin is going to tap into uh, the, the Chechenian warlord there and the Syrian uh, buddy of his, um, Bashar al-Assad, I know that they're, Putin is offering them $7,000, the Syrian soldiers, to go fight for him in the Ukraine. But the Ukrainians are offering anyone, Russian, Syrian, Chechenian, whoever, $10,000 not to fight. So I'm, I'm hoping that the soldiers make a killing and make about $17,000 there for not fighting. And you know things are bad. This is another Muslim person things are bad when the Taliban the Taliban is asking Russia to please calm down and talk with Ukraine and find peace because they're afraid that they're going to kill civilians the Taliban you guys this is this is unbelievable but I I'll try to link uh, I'll link the cup um, so you can take a look at it those of you have gone back but you got to understand that this was two two years ago two and a half years ago I don't know so you guys are asking me 
um, things like uh, like they're they're happening now. No, th these are old cups. Th these are things that back then, you know, these this, this had not happened yet. Okay, so here's the part that I don't want to get into too much. Okay, so you see these people going into this. Now we know that this is Ukraine. See at the bottom, you see the ships there to the left, and then you see that mount, like little hill. That's land. There, it, it's almost similar to the Biden Cup, where they're thinking about this man that lives abroad, and that that man that you see at the top. You see two people at the bottom talking about him, and there he is at the top. They're talking about him. They're concerned about him. That's Zelensky, the guy above them. They're thinking and talking about him. I'm going to skip through that part. And then you have four people. You see those four people there? Just disregard the how it looks. The, the head is that I put it in my purse with the towel around it. And it messed up some of their heads <laughs> to take it to the nature reserve there. Um, so four world leaders. I think th uh, maybe three of them are European and you know the the little head that looks weird so the second from the left I think that's Xi I think that's Xi Jinping now he's the only one standing in the middle he doesn't have his back turned towards him and he doesn't he's not facing him either so I know that a lot of people I mean China had this propaganda or has still to now with um, Putin but I don't see them helping him at all I never see I never saw them helping him with the war even from the beginning so let's hope it continues that way you know hopefully i'm right about that and it looks like they're they're not they're they're just not and everyone else is moving away from him he's practically a pariah in the western world and the third from the left is a woman it's a caucasian woman and i think this is the ursula van der Leyen, the president of europe She's also moving away from him. He it, Putrid is thinking about all these people. But this is why it comes out on his cup. He is shocked that these people took this stance. He didn't realize it was going to be such a grave mistake. He's just... They're, they're not going to want anything to do with him. Even if he tries to reach out to them, I see them turning their heads. The only one that I don't see uh, uh, turning his head away from him is she... But he's also not with him. He seems neutral. As neutral as he could be. In his mind, he may think, you know, we're way bigger than you. We're, we're more important than, than you, putrid. You know, and you, you, you we're not equals. Because I've heard that before, that this, um, some people were analyzing that, that, um, you know, Putin tries to portray himself as, you know, in par with other world leaders as if he were that important so he's kind of created this 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 importance around him putrid does however have a friend still and i think that's mbs or someone from mbs's clan you know he has a large family employees cousins brothers whatever somebody close to mbs or he himself um <laughs> You see the clothes that he's wearing? And he's like stepping forward. He has his legs open. And, and this is a man wearing like a long robe, light robe, and wearing something on his head. This man in another area, in another land, is protecting a woman that is married to Putrid. So now my thumb is blocking it. Great. <laughs> Well, then I'll move it. Yeah, there we go. So putrid. There's a lady inside of him. You see it? And he looks really thin. I wonder if uh, putrid has lost weight. So he's smaller now than ever. His face might be swollen, but his body's getting skinny. So this gentleman with the uh, light robe-like clothing and headwear is helping this woman that is married to putrid. And they have small children. You see the tiny children at the bottom of her feet. Now everyone's saying, everybody, well, not everybody. People are saying that uh, his wife, lover, whatever she is, 
baby's mo- baby mama of his is in Switzerland and if she is in Switzerland then she's being guarded by these Arabic looking people and I think it's she's maybe in Saudi Arabia actually I, I don't think she's in Europe and I've seen that before so that that's what that part means there and there's like money and treaties above his head something to do with oil so yeah that's where his baby mamas are it is with the children excuse me I meant to say that's where she is and that's where they are meaning her and her children now there's going to be an issue with some man passing away someone important someone that wasn't may not have meant to be Ay, Dios mío, God forgive me. Someone that was not meant to be killed. Um, and this person will pass away, like in battle or something. Or, I don't, I don't know, accidentally, I don't know. And there's the, a gentleman that resides in another country. A tall, light-skinned man who wants accountability for this person that will be passing away. And he's very upset he's quite upset about that and I can also have to skip that you guys I'm sorry the details on this I gotta skip like I said I'm only skipping it because it's for the good of Ukraine once everything happens I'll go back and tell you because it involves people okay and I don't want anyone's lives to be in danger so uh, when that happens <laughs> it, things uh, things are gonna change for the West I don't see us going to war yet that's why I keep doing these cups between putrid and Zelensky and I have to do another one on Biden soon I did one on Biden but almost everything uh, came true already really fast and so I'm not even I watched it I'm not even gonna post it I have to make a new one I was gonna do it live but then life happened you know I had to go work and see my family so don't worry I'm gonna make another one And that's it for this uh, Putin cup, Mr. Putrid. Uh, and I still have that Zelensky cup that I have to clean up, edit, and dub over because of the sound. And it, don't worry, eventually I'll do another Biden cup. I made a cup on him and it just, almost everything happened already. So uh, what's the point of, you know, doing it? That was like a month ago. I never got to post it. I wanted to do that live and I never did. I had to travel for work and then I took a vacation to see my family and I did a bunch of readings while I was at my family personal readings for people I did the cup on Trump while I was there I went and I shot it and I made the cup um, I did a collab I, I've, I've been just overwhelmed I'm getting overwhelmed so I cannot post every day a lot of people ask me to post more regularly and I'm so glad you like my cup <laughs> it's really you know wonderful but it's just impossible for me to do that. I can't. This is not the type of channel. One cup takes me about three to five hours from making it to editing it to posting. And in the meantime, please enjoy your the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your time with your friends and your family and your pets. God bless you all. Let's keep praying for Ukraine. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.